Yemen's third largest city is now in the control of rebels. They took over Taiyi Sunday even as thousands protested in the street against them. Security is such a concern, the U.S. government evacuated remaining personnel from the country over the weekend, including 100 special operations forces. The United Nations Special Envoy for Yemen spoke about the situation at an emergency meeting of the Security Council Sunday. Events of recent weeks and days seems to be leading Yemen farther away from a peaceful settlement and towards the edge of civil war. Part of the problem is fighting among rival armed groups, including Shiite rebels, Sunni, ISIS militants, and members of Al-Qaeda. Rebels already control the capital and much of the northern part of the country. In a public address, Yemen's President Abdraba Mansour Hadi, who is in exile, called the actions of rebels a coup against constitutional legitimacy. He later called on militants to pull out of government offices in the capital city. Hadi fled the capital back in February after rebels moved in, they're now closing in on him yet again. The fighting is so bad, many Yemeni people have been forced to flee their homes, and the U.S. ambassador warns many of them are in grave need of humanitarian help. Don Champion, CBS News, New York.